For Comedy Hype News, I'm K-Rock. Everybody knows SNL makes stars, but a lot of people don't know that SNL is hard work. Sometimes that hard work is enough to get you hot, but for most of the people that comes out of SNL, you're going to have to make your own buzz. I mean, look at Finesse Mitchell. He spent three whole seasons on the show. He killed his impersonations of 50 Cent, Colin Powell, Morgan Freeman, Stephen A. Smith, and many more, which eventually got him on the main cast. But Lauren Michaels decided he wasn't really all that. Finesse didn't disappear though. Here's what happened to SNL's Finesse Mitchell. Finesse Mitchell was born Alfred Langston Mitchell in Atlanta, Georgia, and he received his stage name growing up playing football. Football gave me a willingness to win, like I wanted to win at comedy. I would say that football has given me tough skin. There's nothing anybody can say that's going to shake me or rattle me. It never occurred to me that I couldn't be on Saturday Night Live. I said I'm going to be on that show, and I did it. I think athletics gave me that hunger. When it came time for college, Finesse took his talents to South Beach. He played with the 1991 University of Miami Hurricanes. He got to play with dudes like Warren Sapp and Kevin Hart's BFF, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. According to Democrat and Chronicle, Finesse was a member of the Iota Chi chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi at the University of Miami. His sense of humor would constantly make the pledges laugh when they were supposed to be quiet. This led Finesse to try his hand at stand-up during the open mic night where he ended up receiving a standing ovation. After doing so well on stage his first time, Finesse invited some friends to watch him perform on the following week. I bombed in front of everybody. I will never forget that. That's what got me hooked. It wasn't the standing ovation the first week, it was bombing the second week that made me even hungrier to prove that it would never happen again. In a 2018 interview with Forbes, Mitchell revealed that he started doing stand-up comedy at the original Miami Improv, located in Coconut Grove. I'm so glad I started in Miami because the crowds were so diverse. You have to appeal to everybody. Then in 2003, we heard that Tracy Morgan was leaving Saturday Night Live and they were looking for a new black guy. They narrowed it down and I was one of the people they narrowed it down to. It was me, Kenan Thompson, JB Smooth, and D-Ray Davis. One other person, I think Kel Mitchell. I'm not sure. The executives couldn't make up their mind by who they wanted to cast, so they sent everyone home to wait. Eventually, they set up a showcase at the Laugh Factory to make a decision. Mitchell said he gave the performance of a lifetime, and like his first time on stage, he got a standing ovation. Mitchell joined SNL in the fall of 2003, during his 29th season. Mitchell compared his time on the show to Survivor, and by Survivor, he means it was a bunch of white folks competing for money from a major network. I don't know if I kind of gave up and quit on myself, and let that attitude come out on the show, but I wasn't smiling anymore or trying to break the code to win. I was just like, I'm drowning, and I think they can sense that. When 2005 came, up and coming comedians that will become SNL favorites had signed on to the show Bill Hader, Andy Samberg, and Kristen Wiig. Y'all know the names. Sometimes you get stuck in the middle, and I felt like as soon as the new guys came in, that's when it got harder and harder to get something on. According to Vulture, the reason behind Mitchell's departure was budget cuts. The cast was huge and it was hard getting my sketches on. I started losing confidence in what I thought my funny was. I don't know. It was just a tough year for my last year. And then when we heard that Horatio was getting let go, they were going to make other cuts, I knew I was going to be one of those other cuts. While he was on SNL, Finesse was approached by Essence Magazine to give out dating advice to his readers. The original plan was to have other popular male figures to give advice as well. But the editors decided against that idea after reading Mitchell's writing. After Mitchell's dating advice was featured in the next few magazines, the editors wanted to meet him personally. They took me to dinner and they asked me a whole bunch of different relationship questions. It turns out they were kind of interviewing me to find out if I've been coming up with these answers by myself. After dinner, they asked me if I wanted my own column in essence. His dating column would eventually lead him to act like Finesse Mitchell and think like Steve Harvey. Finesse released a dating book called Your Girlfriend Only Knows So Much in 2007. After getting fired from SNL, Finesse went back to stand-up comedy. His first love led him to a Comedy Central half-hour special and two stand-up sets on an episode of Martin Lawrence's First Amendment in 2007. As far as movies go, Finesse was in Who's Your Caddy, The Comebacks, and Mad Money. TV-wise, Finesse played various characters in Comedy Central's Pretend Time, guest starred in the episode of Meet the Browns and VH1 Single Ladies. His biggest role since SNL would be the Disney Channel show Ant Farm. In 2018, Mitchell debuted in an hour-long stand-up special called The Spirit Told Me to Tell You, which was 12 years since Mitchell decided to focus on stand-up and acting after being fired from SNL. In 2020, Mitchell was cast in another sitcom, this time in a main role in the show Outmatched, 
also starring Jason Biggs and Tisha Campbell. Unfortunately, due to low ratings and bad reviews, the show was canceled after 10 episodes. Getting fired from one of the longest running sketch comedy shows that helped catapult the career of Bill Murray, Eddie Murphy, and Will Ferrell may seem like a low point in their career, but several comedians were able to turn that negative experience into a positive one. Hell, some people don't even want what the brand can represent. There are people who didn't make SNL, Tiffany Haddish audition, Brisha Webb audition. These girls are kicking ass in TV and film right now. And some of them are like, I'm so glad I didn't get it because you're so limited in what you can do. To stay up to date with the latest news and comedy, subscribe here to our YouTube channel and follow Comedy Hype across all social media platforms. For Comedy Hype News, I'm K-Rob.